One of the great joys of being a gardener is constantly experimenting with new varieties. Out here we're trialing all sorts of things every year from all over the world. For instance, these are native coneflowers. And you can see here at the end of summer they're beginning to fade just a bit. I also love to have visitors to my garden from other parts of the world. Keith Kirsten is a well-known plantsman who visited me back in the winter when there was nothing but really the bones of the garden to see. You know, Keith, this garden is all about trialing all kinds of new varieties, even some of the old ones. Right. Yeah. Well, I think trialing is very important. Um, and as a modern day kind of plant hunter, you know, things are being moved around the world. And even in South Africa, we trial just like this. And it's good to find out just how these gardens plants perform yeah. for the gardener. Yeah, and, indeed. And before they get into production kind of thing. A lot of breeders will produce these, these plants that will do well, as I say, on the bench in a greenhouse. Right. But I want to see how they perform in the garden. You know, Keith, the reason I laid this garden out the way I did with the geometry and the beds being symmetrical on both sides is that so we could keep up with exactly what's planted where we could observe it and see how it performs uh, with you know too much water too little water how does it do in the heat that yeah. sort of thing yeah. well i think trial plants have to be kept orderly so that you can really you know know where they are and what they're doing and i think the great thing is that you can also test the performance for the length of flowering period uh, how they take the heat you know, how they right. take the different moisture levels or even the dryness in perhaps a very dry part of the summer. So, um, and I think that it's important to see just how they do perform before they get grown and, and produced for the market. Well, certainly in this garden, another component that, that we, we trial for are combinations. Absolutely. Uh, how, you know, what, wh which ones make good bedfellows? You yep. know, does the Gallardia yep. look good over here with this Kufia and yep. that sort of thing? And. Uh, also, with the way beds are planted these days as well, what look good at the back of a bed and what look good in the front of the bed exactly. and what, what remains and stays compact and what gets loose um, as the time goes by. And we, we focused a lot this past year on just the ratio of bloom to foliage, uh, whether it's grass or a, a leafy, colorful leafy plant like a coleus or a perilla right. next to a flowering plant. Well, I try and encourage gardeners, whether they're gardening in containers or in the garden, to think of color, texture, and form all the time. And the, in a trial garden like this, you can do exactly that. It's a big outdoor laboratory. Absolutely. Super. Well, I think it's fantastic. And uh, long may you carry on trialing and, um, <laughs> and I'm going to carry on looking for new plants and also trialing back home and, uh, and bring these ideas back to America and maybe bring your ideas into South Africa as well. Well, I want to certainly apply some of yours right here.